Good day everyone. Today we will be tackling audiovisual media. What is audiovisual media? Audiovisual materials are the most complete resources for teachers due to their availability and versatility. They enhance the learning experience of students and teachers alike. Audio material. Audio material are tools to convey information through sound. Second one is the audio. Refers to sounds reproduced by a computer or any device that is able to play. Next is audiovisual material. Audiovisual material is a combination of both sight and sound to convey information. Video refers to an electronic medium for recording, copying, and broadcasting of moving visual images. The second one is the visual material. Tools to convey information through sight. Functions of audiovisual materials. First, teaching music literature, science, and documentation activities. Second, teaching language and other content areas to foster oral communication, to motivate interpretation. Lastly, to make use of sketches and broadcast. Audio media. Audio recordings, this may come in cassettes or CDs as video shown in the screen. Radio broadcast. It is the transmission of radio programs can be live or taped. Visual media. One of the examples of visual media are bulletin boards, a form to display information on a board. Posters. A form of display information use, using text and pictures. Audiovisual media. Examples are the motion picture videos. Motion picture videos are videos of sound mixed with motion images. Second one is the films. Large sequences of animated scenes and sounds. Perfect Lion King. Then, the guidelines for audiovisual materials in learning and teaching. First, images should be as small as possible. Always provide alternative content. Check copyright. Use MP4 format a size of 640 by 400 and a speed of 500 kbps. Next, provide transcripts for audio and video files. Lastly, save audio files in mono format. Then, let's proceed to uses of audiovisual materials. First, stimulate interest and emphasize. Promote efficiency. Clarify subject. Next is the advantages of using audiovisual materials in learning. It provides diverse teaching techniques for learning. Simplify and clarify complex topics. Allow students to learn at their pace. It is can be reused or reusable. It also reduces the quantity of asked questions.
Next is the disadvantages of using audiovisual materials in teaching. First, it requires correct use. Not all concepts can be thought. Should include only images unfit for boards. And also, it might not guarantee learning. To prepare it, good pronunciation is needed. It can be difficult to understand for children as what the video shown or a picture shown in the screen. A good internet space is required. The proper equipment is also needed. There are ways to use audio to support learning. What are they? First, interviews with subject matter concepts experts. This can be used as core to support for lessons. And also, student-generated recordings used as part of a learner activity or to record evidence. Second, unit podcast example. Weekly updates of teaching material and current situations. Live online discussions. It is between two or more people. It has also recordings of public lectures. Those can be reproposed and used for different contexts and subjects. It has also ways to use video to support learning. First, to demonstrate experiments example. Second, to exemplify abstract concepts. And lastly is to illustrate 3D models. It also demonstrates time passage examples to demonstrate decision-making processes. It involves ourselves and how to make decision-making. It also to summarize, to illustrate performance and music. Then let's move on now to the three steps in producing audiovisuals. First, planning. The most critical aspect of producing. It requires a purpose why, brainstorming how, preparation. Next is the production. The shooting or recording stage is what most people consider the production phase of an audio or video project. The third one was publishing. The publishing phase is the final part of producing audio or video for educational purposes and is referred to as post-production. Then let's move on now to the programs to create, edit, and publish videos. First, to create Audacity. What is Audacity? To record and arrange videos. Second, Garage Band. To record and edit sounds. Third, Windows Media to record and edit video as well. 
The second one was we did Windows Movie Maker. This app is free use to edit. Second one is Virtual DJ. Free to edit sounds and video. And lastly, Quick Time Pro. It is also a video editing software. The third one is to publish. Use the web accessing YouTube, Vimeo, or SlideShare. Thank you for watching this educational vlog. This is Marlon Sosha Storion, and thank you for watching.